morning from Delhi. At the moment I'm in the centre, but not where I wanted to be. I was on my way to the Red Fort and basically the metro train I was on came to a halt. There was a loud bang and then the whole thing swung forward and then stopped and everybody was sat there and standing there on the train for about half an hour until they opened the emergency doors and everybody walked through <laughs> the underground to get to the nearest station. Uh, it was pretty, pretty intense. I'm not really sure what even happened. Anyway, I'm gonna head into a rickshaw and head to the Red Fort. I completely just got out of there. I didn't want to stay down in the metro any longer. There were just thousands of people, people trying to come in, people trying to come out, and it was crazy. So I just decided to come up at this metro station and uh, move on. Old Delhi and now I'm here at the Red Fort. As you can see it's a little musky today. So the Red Fort is one of the main things to see in Delhi. Probably its best known landmark, apart from India Gate perhaps. And it's a 17th century fort for Mughal emperors. You can tell by the entrance that the design is similar to the Taj Mahal as you walk through the gate into this garden area. And that's because the fort was commissioned by Shah Jahan, who's the same guy who commissioned the building of the Taj Mahal, which he built for his deceased wife. At the end of the Mughal reign, the British plundered and destroyed two thirds of the structures inside the fort. And as a British person, it would definitely be wrong of me to not really mention that. What's your name? I am Yesha. Yesha. Yes. Yeah, I, I pronounced that correctly. Yes, yes. yes. Okay, yeah. Hi. I just had some pictures with these guys. <laughs> yeah, my YouTube channel is uh, Jason Billum Travel. Okay. So okay. maybe I can write on your phone. Yes, yeah. Sure, you'll be in the video. Oh, so. Thank you so much. There's a lot of space inside the fort's grounds and it's quite nice and peaceful. Definitely a nice getaway from the hectic atmosphere of Delhi. I'm not sure if it's because of Diwali or just India in general with more of the middle class that a lot of people just dress very smartly. Most men are wearing shirts and smart trousers and most girls really bright saris. <laughs> my way walking to the Jama Masjid Mosque and it's about 10-15 minutes away from the Red Fort. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. So this area that I'm in is now Old Delhi. Check it out. This area is pretty interesting. The mosque is up here behind me. It's the largest mosque in India. 
Now the top of the steps. Interesting view behind me. Just outside the mosque with these guys taking a few selfies. What are your names? Names? I'm, I'm I've attracted a bit of a crowd. <laughs> Just waiting to go inside the mosque because at the moment it's the call for prayer. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so can't go inside at the moment. <laughs> Yesterday I just head back to my hostel because uh, I was meeting a friend for dinner and to be honest Delhi takes it out of you and you need to retreat and then come back again and attack it with fresh perspective. Because it can be pretty intense as you can see. Alright, I'm gonna head in further to the markets and bazaar and see what I can find. Chandni Chalk is endless streams of shops which seem to sort of go on forever. I've been walking for about 15 minutes and still the end isn't really in sight. There's a lot of alleys like this with their own <laughs> separate streets with plenty of shops. So if you walk far enough, you'll eventually reach the spice market, which I'm presuming I'm there now. Just want to give you a quick panoramic of the scene. I've been walking for a long time and I don't know where I am anymore. I'm just sort of like lost in the market now. <laughs> it just keeps on going. There's so much going on at once, you just can't really take it all in. It's so easy for me to film in India because everywhere I just point my camera, I can capture something interesting. <laughs> I'm actually stuck in the middle of the road. I'm cornered. I'm trying to get through. We've seen enough of Old Delhi and I'm going to leave it there. You get the idea. <laughs> So not far from Old Delhi is this large park area called Raj Ghat and it's where Gandhi was cremated after his assassination. So this is basically a huge park, it's pretty chill. You can go and take your shoes off and pay respects to 
the father of India. With that, I'm gonna end the video there. Thank you for watching, and I hope this gave you a good idea of some things that you can do in old Delhi. I've got more videos coming from Delhi in general over the next few days, so stay tuned, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Say nine, to say nine, to say nine.